Hey everyone, this is Queenie Clam coming back at you with another video for today. Well, I had a special request to do some up and coming book releases starting with this week and we'll run through July. So without further ado, let's get started on our first book. This book came out this week and it's this right here. Rejoice in Love. It came out two days ago, and it is by Shannon Gardner, husband and wife Kayla and Tyrese Malcolm are back in an all-new story. Nobody said that having a big family would be easy, but things have been going from bad to worse for the Malcolms. From health scares to relationship drama. It has been difficult for Kayla and Tyrese to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And when Kayla turns to drinking to relieve her depression, Tyrese is about ready to call it quits. Will it take a tra tragedy for the Malcolms to realize the value of their family? And through it all, will they be able to find their faith in God again? This is a clean Christian Romance by Shannon Gardner of America, uh, African American Club. It is called Rejoice in Love. It came out two days ago on May the 3rd by Shannon Gardner. Please go out and get it today. You won't be disappointed. So, my next book is called Redirecting with Bill. Now, y'all. This book comes out at the end of the month, and I hope you really enjoy it. Here's the cover. Fourteen-year-old Billy Andrews has a big mouth that tends to plunge him into deep trouble. His loose tongue is only a part of the problem. He's also a thief and a liar who, whose ultimate dream in life is to see the government pay for his housing and groceries while he sits at home and does nothing. Fortunately for Billy, after he gets caught pickpocketing an off-duty police officer, he is placed under the watchful eye of a probation officer, Philip Bones. Mr. Bones will stop at nothing to turn Billy around, no matter how ascertained the teenager may be. I'm sorry for that. It's going to be a battle, but the probation officer is in it to win it. Can he do it? So get your copy of Redirecting Billy today by J.R. Thompson, and it is due out on May the 31st, 2018. Y'all, that seems like it's going to be a good book. It could be, um, I didn't check to see if it was a young adult or not, but um, my next book is by the one and only Victoria Christopher Murray. Are y'all ready for the cover? Yes. Envy, a seven deadly sins novel. The seven deadly sins book number two. Due out June 19th, 2018. A heart at peace, giving life to the body. But envy rocks the bones. Gabriel Wilson has the perfect life. A Beverly Hills mansion a loving family, a massive successful PR firm. When her father admits that an affair he had years before resulted in a daughter, Gabrielle is shocked, but is happy. Could this be the sister she had been praying for all her life? Keisha Jones' life is a struggle. Her late mother worked on the streets, 
and the school was his own nightmare. When Gabriel offers to fly Keisha out to Arkansas to meet the family, Keisha instantly agrees. But Gabriel doesn't realize that Keisha has known about the Wilson for years. Keisha is determined to have everything she has always envied, and nothing can stand in her way. And that is the copy. If y'all can see it again, I'm trying to hold it up for you and read it, read the synopsis at the same time. But this book is due out June the 19th by VCM. I am so ready for that book. The next book, um, I love the co uh, the cover of this one. It's called Awaken, and it's due out on July the 10th. My son, he's helping me try to uh, hold this up for y'all because I haven't got a stand for it. Awaken, a novel by Denise Shelton. Sierra is a successful real estate agent living in a, a comfortable life, but she has a secret so painful that she has erected emotional walls around her heart that block anyone from getting close. Then she dreams again. In one, Sierra is running from the sound of dogs barking and men chasing her in the darkness. In another, she's in a field, lashing coming down on her face, on her back, excuse me. She's in, a, in another dream. She's in a field, lashes coming down her back. In many, she is a woman of faith named Dorothy, fighting for civil rights. Sierra tries to ignore the dreams and continue on with her life as usual. But the more she discards them, the longer and the deeper she sleeps. And soon the long nights begin to affect her work and her sanity. Finally, she seeks the help she needs. The more she works to understand the nature of and the reason of her dreams, the more freedom Sierra feels in her own life. Doors to relationship with other people open. She meets a client that could be the love of her life. And soon she has a decision, decision to make. She can be who she has always been. Living in fear? Or can she be Dorothy? Allow the dreams to show her who she really is. Reconnect with God and, uh, and fill the void in her spirit. Y'all does sound like an excellent, an excellent read. And I can't wait July 10th to get this copy. I might go ahead and pre-order it. But this is Awaken by Denise Shelton. Great read. That's like a great read. And last, hey, hey, but certainly not least, is my girl, Sharonda Tate Billisley. Biz 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 I can't, I can't never pronounce her name right, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The book in room 316 is due out also July 10th, 2018. Savannah Graham thought that she had the perfect marriage until grief, grief drove her husband into the arms of his best friend's wife. Now she believes revenge is the only way her heart can heal from the betrayal. For 52 years, Ollie Moss lived side by side with the love of his life, his wife, Elizabeth. But now that she is gone, so is his desire to love, despite the love from his children and his beloved grandson, Samuel. Can anyone save Ollie's life? Anna Rodriguez just wants to work and provide for her three children by any means necessary. But her decision to break the law to get a job is threatening life as she know it. Trey Brown is known in his neighborhood as the Hustler, so much so that the gangs want him to join the ranks. But there's a reason for this 19-year-old 
does what he does. He's the one left who can save his little brother. Different circumstances lead each of them to the Mark Ham Hotel, where they will find hope to find some solace, comfort, and answers. Told from multiple pr perspectives, the room, the book in room 316 will renew your strength and faith that there is always a way forward. This book seems like it's going to be good, and I might have to go ahead and pre-order it. So that are the, those are the five books that's up and coming. I hope you enjoyed my little tool um, video, even though I had to compromise and hold, get my son and myself to hold up the little uh, covers for you. I'm sorry for the... Um, the way I did this video, but I really want to get the, the uh, this video out, and I, like I said, I had to really compromise and put something together to give you it. It's not the perfect, but you got it. If you have any comments, suggestions, and uh, about this video, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I am Queenie Clem. I love you. God bless. And you see my son in the video now, which he don't supposed to be. Um, again, God bless. And happy reading. Until next time, I'm Queenie Clinton. Bye.